Howdy folks, welcome to this week's Ag Report. So this week I'm going to share with you about my global ag edu education trip that I went on. It was seven days, we toured 21 farms over those seven days. Uh, we went into uh, Montreal, Canada, uh, Quebec City, Canada, and came down through uh, Michigan. So while we were in Canada, we met with the Port Authority there and toured the Port of Montreal. We met with the Ministers of Agriculture. Then we went out and toured uh, several of their uh, farming operations. We saw cranberries, we saw uh, a dairy, we saw grain farms, soybeans, uh, corn, um, oats. We saw a seed cleaning facility, a uh, cheese manufacturer. Um, you may ask, you know, well, what's the point of, of going across the, the borders like that and, and uh, meeting with other folks? Well, we're all competing on a global market uh, in agriculture, our commodities and everything. And it's just a good way to connect with other producers, hear what their struggles are. A lot of times their struggles are very similar to, to ours. They are, you know, fighting high input prices, low commodity prices, things like that. But it's really neat to connect with them. We had a translator with us um, because that's all they speak is French over there in, in that part of Canada. So the translator went with us, some government officials went with us, and they introduced us to a lot of different uh, um, different farms. There we got to go see a, uh, an egg farm um, where they produce uh, just eggs. We went to a turkey breeder uh, where they had about 35,000 turkeys. We went to apple orchards, a lot of different diversity. Um, they were very gracious hosts. I learned a whole lot while I was over there and uh, it was just really neat connecting with, with the producers. We came down through Michigan. Michigan has over 300 commodities in their state that they raise. We got to go on to the, uh, the uh, University of Michigan, uh, to their cattle facility, learned about their uh, uh, mandatory cattle ID or ear tagging that they have going on. Uh, we went, uh, visited many farms there. We went to another um, egg producer. We got to go to a spearmint farm. If you ever chew Wrigley's gum or uh, essential oils, we went to the largest spearmint producer in North America. Really a neat process of, of how the, that they do. We saw sugar beets. We saw uh, a 40 acre hemp farm. It is legal um, in uh, Michigan to uh, uh, produce both uh, medical marijuana and hemp. Uh, and so we got to go tour that, see their facility. We went to a flour mill. If, you, uh, if you've ever fed your, your kids uh, goldfish crackers, we went to the flour mill where all of their soft white wheat goes into uh, those crackers. Really a neat experience. It's a great thing to kind of, you know, get out of, uh, you kind of get blinders on sometimes of focusing on what you're doing here and it's 101 degrees and hot and dry, that kind of stuff. Go to Canada, it's 48 degrees and you freeze to death. <laughs> or at least if you're from Texas and it's 102, you freeze to death, you take your earmuffs. But it was a really neat, very educational uh, deal. Uh, bring home a lot, of, a lot of things, a lot of ideas of how they're uh, 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 addressing problems that they have there. One thing I did notice, uh, whether we were in Canada, Michigan, or here, it's connecting with the consumers. Um, the officials we talked to in Canada, just like here in, in America, the consumers are wanting to connect with the producers. They're wanting to find out more information about how it is produced, how it's raised, that kind of stuff. So that's not just something that's happening here in Dallas-Fort Worth. It is happen happening globally that the consumers are, are just wanting to connect that kind of stuff. The producers that I met uh, in Canada and stuff like that, they're just like we are here. They are happy and they are wanting to share their story uh, with about what they do with their customers. So it, it's very similar here. The, the families that you meet here producing your, your cotton, your grain, your, your corn, that kind of stuff, your cattle. Same thing up there. They were family farms that we met. Um, we connected with some of them on Facebook. They're they're enjoying kind of see what's going on in Texas. So it's kind of a kind of a small world digitally, and it's really cool. So. Um, Enjoy looking at the pictures and things of different places we got to go, go tour. Y'all take care now.